I love the coast of Nova Scotia. It's pristine. It's cool. It's, uh, it's just one of the most beautiful places on the planet. My concerns are our provincial and federal government's agenda for how they'd like to see our coastlines developed. Um, I think that they need to really consult with the people who know the areas that they think they can develop so that they can get a better understanding of what type of impact they could have. These fishermen have been on the water their whole lives. It's their family's business. Hundreds of years of knowledge. Knowledge that they cannot get anywhere else. So they really need to look at coming into our communities and listening and understanding why we are concerned about how our, our, our bays are developed. The first thing that we really need to get out there is that coastal communities like mine are not opposed to aquaculture. We know there are forms of aquaculture that can be uh, done that um, can be sustainable. But what our concern is, is these large salmon feedlots. Uh, this is farming practices that have failed all over the world. So why is our province going to adopt a practice that they already know is doomed to fail? Look at developing aquaculture in a sustainable manner. Encourage people in these communities in the fishery to get involved in small-scale aquaculture projects. It doesn't have to be these big, huge salmon feedlots that are destroying our seabeds. I think uh, we could try to encourage them to put these feedlots in a land-based system like they're trying to do in BC. We really have to push our stand and say the env environment comes first. It's going to pay for itself in the long run stick with a plan that's sustainable, not with fish farms, which are an economic and environmental nightmare.